Can you offer a brief summary what this experience meant to you? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, it was very nice for me because it was my first Erasmus as a coordinator and I learned so much from the other coordinator and how I can behave with other cultures and such young people. Was this your first Erasmus Plus? If yes, how would you rate it? Uh, yes, it was. And I would rate it a, nine, a solid 9 or 10 out of 10 because I expected so, something so much more strict and it got so personal. I made so many friends. Did you learn anything new about other cultures? Yes, of course. I learned a lot of things about the Spanish and the Ukrainian culture. I liked that the Spanish showed their temperament and we talked a lot about the Spanish migration and their other problems. And of course, the Ukrainian talked about the war. It was very informative for me. What motivated you to participate in this youth exchange? Uh, well, a couple of things. First of all, the topic is about democracy, which uh, is a very hot topic right now in the world, with uh, both in Europe, but also most recently in Venezuela and with uh, and to, like for example in 2020 in the US with the elections. So I think it's a topic that everyone should learn about and uh, yeah, consider more. And then also uh, meeting new people. Uh, I, wanted, like, I wanted to meet the people from both Ukraine and Spain, learn about their culture and uh, learn about their perspectives on certain topics. Are there any memorable experiences or moments from this exchange that stand out to you? To me, the most memorable experience is how well the cultures played into each other and how much similarities we could find between uh, Spain, Ukraine and Slovakia, even though we are also different. 